Okay, looks like we're all good. We're all recording. Welcome, everyone. So we played Earthbound for the first time last month. I had a good time with it, and I wanted to get to Mother 3 finally. This is a game that's very iconic. I'm sure many of you know that. It's only You can only play the fan translation, hence this screen here. Let me just click on the thing, and let's advance here. Game Boy Player, that's what I'm definitely using. Nintendo in the blue logo. I'm hyped to play this too. Ooh. 2006. The DS was out by that point. Interesting. Is it a bit red tinted? Well, that's just how the mother logo usually looks, right? Or like the title, the box art. Anyways, let's get into it. Hey, I know that guy. He is from Smash Brothers, the younger twin brother, a gentle boy. Lucas is quite literally the only thing I know about Mother 3, just because Smash Brothers. Lucas, yeah, it came out like 11 years after Earthbound. I didn't realize there was that much of a gap. And the older twin brother, an energetic boy. Klaus, that's how you say that, right? Random cowboy, the strong, kind, dependable father. Flint. Look at that, they're getting the whole family up in there. The beloved mother. Uh, Hinawa. The brave and smart dog. Bony. What's your favorite homemade food? All right. We're gonna go ahead and say that it's cookie. Remember chat, no spoilers, no backseating. Everyone be a good woman. Cookie. Cookies are homemade, you can't tell me they're not. What's your favorite thing? Of course. I don't think Teddy Ursa will fit. Yeah. Just enough there, yeah. So we'll just put Teddy. Teddy's pretty cool. Yeah, no no vague spoilers, too. People were a little... <laughs> did a little bit of that in Earthbound. Um, I guess we'll put it the fast. Window color... I think I'm going to pick Strawberry, because I picked that for Earthbound as well. Why not? And Lucas, Klaus, Flint, Hinawa. Yep, looks good. Ooh. Let's get cozy and see what this game's all about. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. This is my first playthrough, of course. Earthbound was last month, and a few months before that, I played Mother 1 for the first time. I'm ready to see if I can experience peak gaming, chat. Listen to this music. Pretty loud for a GBA game. Oh, hang on a second. I just realized it'll pause when I click out of it, so let me just turn that off. There we go. Nowhere Islands. Excellent. I thought about making this a sub-goal for next month's uh, events, but um, I figured we could just do this to build up the hype for that. It has been a very good couple of weeks, Jack. Doing pretty good. Taz Miley Village. Taz Millie. Miley. Do, 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 do. Look at it go. Ooh. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. There's some cactus. Or cacti. Some chickens. I see a pig. And a trash bin that has different uh, different line art than everything else. Home of Alec Hinawa's father. Oh, I'm excited, chat. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, that's me! Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos brought their baby over. They're very cute. Hurry up. No PNG Tooper today. I talked a lot about that during Earthbound, but I actually got that going now. What we got going on? No problem here. Same bedhead as always. Can't seem to do much. Whip, status, sleep. Okay, so that's for the Game Boy Advance sleep mode, of course. Level one. I got nothing right here. 
I've got no equipment. Probably no goods. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Sure, why not? Hang on a second. Turn it back up. The intro was just kind of loud. Look at me, everybody. I'm Little Lucas. Ooh. That's a fancy cabin. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. I check the pig. Oink, oink. But the pig next to me says worries me. Oink, oink. Don't worry about it. Well then. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. Nope. It'd be handy to remember that. Okay. Can't talk to the chickens. L and R don't seem to do anything. Select shows me my stats. Can't seem to run. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to step on the ants. Don't want to do that. Let's leave them alone. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories. You're gonna save the game, aren't you? and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, pop, save your game? Yeah, sure. Two files, wait, what? Unable to save, huh? Uh-oh. Chat, why is it unable to save? What do you mean, need to patch it? Why would this be an issue? I've never seen a Game Boy Advance game do this. Uh, do I have to configure something? Maybe I gotta change the flash save type, I guess. Hang on. Maybe I can figure this out. Save type. Automatic. You see here. Let me see. Never seen this issue. It's set to flash 128 uh, kilobytes. What about flash 64? Oh boy. Let me try that. Okay, it worked. I just had to check one thing. Uh, just in case, maybe I'll make a save state at the end of every episode though. Crisis averted. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I think the only other game I had to change stuff like that for was maybe Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. No, that was because of a visual bug. Not say not a save bug. Fix my GBA. Oh yeah. No problem here. Hello, dinosaurs. I don't think that's a good idea. What are you doing? What are you doing? You bumping and jumping into that thing? Oh, phew, I'm beat. I've been play, uh, play fighting with the Dragos all morning. Uh, you should play too, Lucas. Sure. Here, try ramming into a Drago. Klaus? Lucas doesn't know how to run, uh, run into those things yet. Oh, I get it. Klaus is an anagram for Lucas. Ha ha ha, I got it. That's why they're twin names. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button, and then hold the B button for a second, then let go. Th doing this will let you dash, and by using the dash ability, you can run into the Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. I think he just showed me an example. Oh, uh, yes, just like that. Let me see here. Give it a try. Actual run button. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. 
Okay. So I hold it down, and then I get go running. I can't... I don't hold the button to run. And I don't stop until I bump into something, I guess. Yeah! Let's try again. Yeah, get beamed. Get beamed, giant dino. I mean, let's go for a little further back, why don't we? Get him! Pop. Yeah. Uh, is that it? It's like, move on already. Do I talk to him? The dino is thinking that. He's like, stop it, kid. <laughs> the harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it. Move out of the way. Make way for the Great Mole Cricket. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. Okay. You encountered a mole cricket. Alright. Bash them. Let me see if I can get the rhythm thing going. I don't know if I can do it. The mole cricket used a biting attack. Okay, I got one. You, just, you tap the A button with the uh, the rhythm of the of the battle music, right? Or the beat of the battle music, I think. The mole cricket surrendered. You won! Lucas and company got two experience points. Yay! I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, I'll be at the big mole cricket hole stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. There he goes. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite, boys. Cookie. Oh, lunch, lunch, cookie. Heck yeah, the cookie's in the shape of a teddy ursa head. You too, Dad. Alright, let's just leave these dinosaurs alone. We're not gonna have a Jurassic Park situation with them. Now then, they seem... They're fine, I guess. Oh. Listen, folks, here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Hope unpacking's going well. We started Mother 3, as you can see. Also, Alec is backseating. We gotta get him. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, actually, it required a little bit of effort at first, Mr. Alec. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. We almost had technical difficulties, but I just had to change one tiny thing. Hey, wait for me. You save me some cookie, too, I hope. Yeah. What's your favorite food, Mom? I like how the characters are more animated than Earthbound, but it, it has been 11 years, so... Oh, cookie? Then your character, sorry, your favorite is the same as ours? We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it th here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. Ha ha ha. She picked a paper off the desk. Boop boop boop. Uh-huh. Dear Flint, Just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. 
My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmiley Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in the air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite cookies right away. With love, yours dearest, Hinoa. Hmm. Oh, boy. I tried using B button before I got the dash tutorial, and I didn't get anything, so maybe I didn't do it right. Well. Why is the music... Why is the music getting like that? Uh-oh. I know that melody. Isn't that the song that plays in that uh, New Pork City in uh, Smash? I guess that that is from Mother 3, obviously. Lucas in New Pork City, that's all I know about this game. Yeah! Mother 3. There's wood on the logo this time. Look at it, chat. Playing it in English, how did I manage that? Smash loved using Mother 3 songs. They didn't like giving us Mother 3. Uh, do I gotta push a button here? No, I guess it's just playing the fanfare. We only just started, but a 15 minutes into it. Uh-oh. That Super Mario World looking boom. Those are Dragon Ball Z sound effects. Vegeta just got blasted into a crater. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh. The animals are running. The hell are these dudes? Throwing bombs. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Everything's on fire, chat. I didn't plan for this. We're all gonna die. Let's get the cowboys together and go go solve this issue. Chapter one, Night of the Funeral. There's chapters for this. Fancy. We got a fireman running here, away from the forest. Knock, knock. Flint! Flint! It's a fire! A fire, a fire! The sunshine forest is on fire in a huge, fiery, flamey fire. Guess I better do something about that. Oh, I'm playing as the cowboy? Okay, I can run. You can take a nap on this bed. Take a quick rest? No. Machine for spinning wool. No problem here. Fireplace and firewood. No problem. You're looking pretty handsome, but this is no time for that. Dashing gentlemen to the rescue. You gotta do something quick, Flint. It's the forest. The forest. The forest is on fire. Jeez. Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint? Ah, the doorknob. Why'd you have to come up at a time like this? Ah, doorknob. I, I mean, Flint. This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in Sunshine Forest. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please, come, Flint. Please. Or... Thomas joined your party. Cool. 
I'll follow behind you. What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. Alright. He's hiding something in his doghouse. Flint's got a stick. Hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding on to it'll... Holding on to it'll make it useful as a caramel. Okay, go to equip. Weapon, stick, plus two. I got an ordinary hat, plus two. Nothing else to put on. Okay, let's go for a little runway, don't we? How the sheep doing? The sheep are milling about restlessly. No problem here. Let's get going, Mr. Fireman. Yeah, I love how much more animated everything looks. Like, as much as I like Earthbound, everything in that game does look pretty stiff. Ah, Flint! The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke. Well, let's go do something about it, why don't we? If the forest catches on fire, Klaus and Lucas and Hinoa will be stuck out there. The sunshine fire, it's on forest. No, wait. The, the fun sh the fun shine sorest is on tire. Thomas's Bazaar. Now isn't the time for that. I decide when it's the time for anything. All right, not going inside any houses. Ah, Flint, the sunshine forest is on fire? Oh, um, should I maybe give you a hand too? Yeah? Uh, wait, um, I'm actually pretty busy, you know? Um, uh, y you know how it is. Sorry. I'll leave everything to you today, Flint. Sorry, I'm, I got plans. Uh, your kids are gonna have to burn alive. They're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs the village, too. Thomas, what are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now. You better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. All right. Hang on, can I go over here? Flint, the fire isn't that way. There's no time to get sidetracked. Okay, then no houses, and I can only go north. You need something on the map loving and map owning mapsin? Must be a map, yes? Please, feel free to take one with you. A Taz Millie map. You're worried about Lighter's Shack deep in the Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. Your map's been marked. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops, silly me. Got to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to... How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish or strength. Okay, push the R button. Put it more bluntly, I guess do something R buttonish. Well, there we go, I called it. Look at that. We need to go up there. Look, an actually useful map. Isn't that nice? Flint, took you long enough. Go check the fire quickly. Chop, chop. The fire spreads here to Tasmili Village, my honor, my estate, and I will all go up in smoke, literally. So go north. North, I say. North, as in. North, south, east, and west. Why do you force me to explain such simple things to you? Lint, the fire isn't that way. There's no time to get sidetracked. Save frog. Hop, save your game. Yes. Now I'm Flint with Thomas. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Anything over here? Hmm. Flint! The Sunshine Forest, which is to the west across the road and past the prayer sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy! Oh, sorry, that sounded so explanation-like. Okay, where am I at right now? Okay, we're not going to be allowed to go north, but present. Edible mushroom. Oh, yes. Love to eat some of those. Entrance is sealed. Look for presents since they're apparently around. I got a nut? Hell yeah, I got nuts. 
Mr. Flint, if you lose your way, be sure to check the signposts and message boards. I'm telling you, this is out of the kindness of my heart, just so you know. Okay. Sunset Cemetery graves have never looked so scenic. No zombies allowed. Oh, that's right, there's zombies in this universe. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked by the dinosaurs. Got nut bread. Well, we got food. What you... Bro! Bro, what is this slender ass man doing here? Hey, leader, can you see the fire from up there? Or, letter. Hey, I said. That I see is as non talkative as ever. That's a little creepy. <laughs> That's terrifying. Find the pages. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow, advice. For this little bit, I'm gonna use game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start. Starting from the left, the menu selections are goods, equip, status, and sleep. At present, you can use the control pad to select one of the, those four. By choosing a menu option and pressing the A button, you can find out all sorts of things you might want to know. Lastly, the rightmost sleep menu option. If you choose this and press A, you can pause the game. The batteries won't drain very much while the game's in sleep mode, so don't worry. When you want to start the game again, just pr press select L and R all at the same time. Well, what do you think? Shall I explain that again? No. A sparrow fluent in game lingo is pretty raro, wouldn't you say? I mean rare. Well, this time I'll be sparrow-like for sure, and... Chirp, 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 chirp. Even if I did go on ahead, I'd just be no help at all. What should I do? Well, let's go see what's going on then. The flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But old lighter and little fuel are still stuck in the forest. I'm stuck. Please, gasp. Please, no. What are you doing? Quit pushing that. Please, quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing that and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again. Is he talking to me about pushing the A button? If you keep this up, I'm gonna... Ugh! Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing the stupid thing. Gasp, wheeze. I still don't feel so good. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. Got a minute? If you're ever out of strength and find yourself poisoned, a dip in a hot spring is best for what ails you. But it's important that you stay in the water for a while for it to be effective. And actually, there's a nice hot spring right inside the sunshine forest, too. Now to end this with a sparrow-like chirp chirp. Anything hidden back here? No, it'd be nice if there was. Let's go. What's this? Save frog. And uh, black and white dragons. Church of Yanova over here. May the forest and the people and the animals and I all have happiness. Oh, Flint, good to see you. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. All right, please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. All right, gonna make sure they get their, their wall breaks in here. Can I fit it? Oh, I absolutely can fit it. There we go. Understood. Christian. Your name is Christian, right? Yes. Okay, then. Please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? No, you have no effect on my physical brain. You must forget. All right. Game thought it could hypnotize me. Hang on, I should save again. Yeah, Game Boy Advance games generally were more uh, lenient with save points because not every Game Boy Advance game had um, a sleep mode. You basically had to like, you know, your, if your batteries were dying, your batteries were freaking dying. You had to like turn that thing off quickly. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. All right, we got a fire to deal with. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big, giant, foresty fire. 
This is a big emergency, so I came to help out. What is the what is the AVGN doing here with a blonde wig? But Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know. I'm not just some annoying onlooker. Out of the way. Can I not walk past them? Oh, I can. Flint! Thank heavens you're here! I think lighter and fuel are still inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. You just hurry and find them. Uh-oh. Crusty fire noises. Buff. Oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. Settle down there. The smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. Got a nut cookie. Cough, cough, cough. All right, all right. I'll give you one more of my slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies. Bro, you're really, you're really selling me on these delicious baked goods, let me tell you. Uh-huh. Please let it be you. He got them Subway cookies, yeah. Oh, he just gives me infinite cookies? The power of infinite unclean cookies. Well then. Oh, there's a bat. Do, 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 do. Didn't know you could get infinite cookies and you played the game seven times. Oh. Thomas is getting flustered. Well, there's a crit. The first enemy hit me with a crit. That's a good sign. 20 XP. Hang on a second. Next level, 80. There's probably going to be a boss at the end of this, so I should fight things. Let's do it. Batty blocked the way. I have... What is this? Brute Force? Power up, smash, toughen. Um, I don't know if I need to use those. This is basic bat. I feel like I should... Wait, I have no PP. Can I even use them? Probably, but they're probably going to be inaccurate moves. Or maybe it's like Persona and they cost HP. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get the timing down. Hang on, please. Well, I killed him. You won! I actually don't know. Is homesickness in this game? I guess we'll find out. I shouldn't ask open-ended questions before someone spoils the endgame boss when I say things like that. You joke about it, but the Earthbound playthrough was, uh, a thing. Flint opened the present and Ares bracelet. Okay, hang on a second. Let me put that on. Body, other... Plus three defense. Yeah, I'll take it. That's right, chat. You better behave, or else. Where could Isaac be? Okay. Save frog. Oh, wait. Heal. Um, okay. So that little uh, dot means there's a spring. Chirp, chirp. Some people always try to avoid fighting when there's enemies around. You know the type, right? They use the dash ability to zoom right by. I guess you could say they're followers of peace at any price. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that's how you are or anything. I just think that if you keep running away from everything now, later on when you have to fight, you'll have a really rough time because you lack experience. Always running off will only lead to regret, my young disciple. Please keep this in mind. Now to end this with a sparrow-like chirp, 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 chirp. What a relaxing time to rest in the hot spring. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Flint's party feel alive again. Okay, let's go then. Are the bats gonna respawn? Yes, they are. Let's do this. Batty attacks. Okay, there we go. Batty attacks. I killed him. Get slightly extra bonus damage if I can do that. So, I'm not timing it with the music, right? 
I don't think it's tied to the music. I think it's tied to, like, when the first attack goes through. That's when you start doing the beat. That makes sense. Probably doesn't. Gonna nut cookie. Yeah, get over here. Let's fight. It is time to the music's beat. Okay. Because I ignored the beat last time and I got it. All right, then. I think it's tied to the beat. The emulator might add a bit of a delay to it. Um, I think I just got it, so I think we can put that out the window. Oh, he's dead. Yay. The highest you got in your whole playthrough is three. Well, damn, I guess I'm just a god gamer all of a sudden. <laughs> Now it's this here. Beware the poisonous snakes. There should be antidotes somewhere around here. How close am I to a level? Because it pretty much implying I'm going to need to, like, fight a boss at the end. Oh. Oh, Flint. Cough, cough. I breathed in too much smoke. Lighter and his sun fuel still aren't back. I'm sure they're stuck inside the forest. Cough. Don't worry about me. Go help them. Let's do it. What do we got over here? Oh, did it just lag a bit? Uh-oh. Does this game do that, or... I think 16 is the max you can do with the beat. Okay. What are they doing? They look like those putties from the Power Rangers. Metal lot box-like object is laying here. It's lagging a little bit in this area. What if it just does that? Okay. Hmm. This is a bit of more of a chill tune. Yum monster. All right then. I don't think there's. A, I don't think uh, it's working. It's working just fine for me. Okay. Thomas is wiping the sweat from his forehead. Yeah, monster attacks. Oh, I killed it. Flint earned 26 XP. Now he's level 8. Ooh, nice. 6 HP, 2 offense, 2 defense. IQ went up by 1, speed up when I've won. Inside the present- Nut bread! It would really suck if I go to eat this, and it's like, and the game's just like, you're allergic to nuts. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> My throat's a bit dry all of a sudden. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's try it. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Jeez. I didn't even say anything. All of a sudden, my throat's just like, die. Can I not do the beat with uh, these attacks? I seem to be doing okay with this, and I want to practice the beat more, so let me do this. Ten. Does the timing get more strict as the combo goes higher? Okay. Mm-hmm. Nah? Okay, I just missed it then. 26 XP. Just gotta get a feel for the song. That one was pretty easy because it's a bit of a slow one. Okay, nut bread. Okay, let's do this. You encountered a monster. Oh, I wasn't prepared to do it. <laughs> Oops. Okay. It still seems like it's really easy to miss the first one, though, anyway. Oh, I killed it anyway. These guys are giving 26 a pop. 82 for next level. Oh, okay, I can't walk through the fire. It actually damages me. I thought it was a solid wall. Your monster attacks? Oh, it critted me. Ah, I missed it. I gotta make sure I press the text box ahead on the right time, too. Ah, damn it. And I killed it. Some nut bread. 
Okay, there's probably going to be a boss ahead, so I should make sure I top up my HP and get another level. I was getting it good, but it still seems like it's easy to miss the first one, depending on when you, like, uh, start it. Like, your rhythm gonna match it before you even, like, start the attack, I guess. Oh, hang on. 15 HP. Do it again. 98. There's a guy there. It's probably him. 56. Okay, I don't need to grind, maybe. Damn it, I walked into that. Hang on. What's my max HP? I'll eat another cookie. Or, hang on. 5 HP. You know what? Just use this. You've never seen a bug like this before. Lighter. Hey! Lighter! You alright? Yo, bro, you okay? Better wake up. This place is on fire. Flint! Oh, and Thomas. Damn it. I try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. I can't get past them. Cough, cough. This is great. What is that thing? A bug? Cough. Don't know. They're going around the forest lighting fires, but never mind that. Fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's still in your shack? Flint, you gotta go help Fuel. I'll look after lighter. Well, if I die, it's not like I have money to lose, I assume. Alright, this must be it. There's three bugs now. Don't stop coming. Firefly and its cohort suddenly attacked. Um... Maybe I should try increasing my defense or something if this is what this does. Breathe fire. Ow. Buzzing all around. Breathe fire. Stiffened his body. Defense increased by five. Let's do a strengthen up and then I'll just try regular attacks against them. See how much HP they got. Because I feel like if, if I hit multiple ones, it's probably going to be inaccurate. Depending on what these are. Offense increased by six. Let's try this. Okay, come on. Alright. Two hits. They'll go down easy. I just had to buff myself up a little bit. Alright, missed it. Come on. Damn it, I'm not getting it. I'm just not getting the second hit now. You won. 51 experience points. Just barely. I'm like four or five away from a level up, I think. All right there, partner, you wait right here. I'm gonna go get your son. Was it your son? Oh, wait, what's this? Hop, hop, I really recommend you save now, will ya? All right, then. He really recommended it, so I should listen. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Oh, it's the guy from the cutscene. Ah! There's a fly in there. Dude, I'm right about to level up. Help, help. No, I want to go get my... Dude, I need 5 XP. I could reset. I could reset and go back and... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, chat. Hang on. I know he's in danger, but I need 5 XP for a level, and I'm clearly going to have to fight something. Good. I was afraid it wasn't going to work for a second. Alright, let's go back for a second here. Do those little your mouths respawn? They do. Okay, let's just beat one up. Ooh. You snuck up on from behind. Ooh, they actually flipped the sprites. That's cute. I like that. There we go. Have an easier time with that. Do, 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 do. 
26 points. Offense by two. All right. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Yeah, don't tell me what I can and can't get, chat. Come on. Enemy left a present. I was going to check the plank one on the way back anyway. Nut bread. Lighter's lumber. Flint! If you're going to use that lumber as a weapon... Oh, it's a freaking weapon. It's completely useless otherwise. I'm going to walk right by it again, too. Lighter's lumber. Could I have picked that up before the bugs came at me, though? My speed goes down. Let me do that. Body. Alright, that should be good enough. Wait, did I actually level up? I did. I didn't see what my stats went up by. I was looking at chat. Alright, let's save again. He really recommends I save now. Please be careful. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Help! Help! We could probably bust it open by ramming into it. Well then. Uh-oh. No problem here. I could see a few problems. Boss time. Flying mouse? My worst enemy. I'm gonna freaking kill this thing. Let's make sure I super kill it. Flying mouse did a combo attack. I hate flies. I hate mice. I hate this thing. Come on. I don't know what the beat of this song is supposed to be. Wolf in its hair to look threatening. <laughs> I don't know when I'm supposed to do the second the second hit for this song. It sounds weird. 45. Either way, it's down. Alright, Flying Mouse is dead, chat. There's hardly a boss. I'll pop that thing. Whatever, I shouldn't focus too hard. The rhythm is just slightly extra damage anyway. Fallen support beam is blocking the way. Come on, son. Let's get you out of here. Mr. Flint! You took fuel into your care. Let's get him out. Come on! Uh-oh. Sorry, kid. Your house is going down. At least you're out of there. That's all that matters. Wah! I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive. Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. P uh, pitch Black Flint. Thank you so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh, yeah. When you let my dad know, I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. I really recommend you save now. Do it again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Please be careful. In my regards, to the next frog. Where'd they go? They're up over there now. Or no, that's where I am, sorry. Can I still fight these things? Yeah, there we go. Monster became tame. 26. There's some nut bread. 88. Oops! I bumped into the fire. I've just been flamed a little bit. That's a pretty easy song to get it for. Just in case I get critted or something. Up red is 30. Let's do that. Take him out. 
Yeah, missed it. Eel picked a rock and threw it. Yeah, got him. All right, you win. 26, enemy left a presence. More nut bread. I don't know if I really need to fight that. Can't go that way. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Didn't realize it was that close. Now isn't the time for that. Hang on, can I wash it off? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yule was more useful than Thomas. Apparently... Oh, oh, that's cute. It washes off the bo It doesn't wash off their head. <laughs> okay. Now, quickly, let's get back. I, uh, don't know where you, uh, who you are, Mr. Pitch Black Guy, but thanks a million for saving fuel. Wow, you're really pitch black there. Oh, fuel, Flint. You're pitch black and covered in suit, but you're all right. If you're looking for lighter, Thomas took him to the prayer sanctuary. But wow, you're really pitch black there. Oh, Flint. Fuel, you're both pitch black, but I knew you, it was you the instant I saw you. Huh? Oh, this injury? Actually, about that. Yes, this injury. Abby here was attacked by some bizarre flying mouse with bug wings. It just went chomp and bitter on the head. That makes sense? If I didn't, I can explain it to you again. Made sense to me. That was a very easy to understand explanation. <laughs> Flint! You're pitch black and covered in suit, but you're all right. Being the responsible man I am, I, I brought lighter here. Hurry and let him see fuel. Where are you at? Appears to be some kind of special place. Sure, let's save the game. Better make sure we use this as often as possible. Be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog. Dad! That voice. Is that you, Fuel? You're alright? What the? What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in suit. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg! Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I got to do is twist like this and then do this and... Ow, ow, ow! Consarn it. Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, we sure are lucky Flynn showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter would have always... Uh, Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. Yeah, a lot of the NPCs in this game are pretty unique. But a lot of them are kind of like uh, the shared, same shared asset most of the time. Aha! You're right. The only thing that could make this any stranger if it suddenly started pouring rain. Well, fire's dealt with. And now it's starting to rain. Let's just hope the rain puts out the fire. It washed away the suit. We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. Oh dear. Yeah, but what about uh, everyone up north there? Everything is going just great. It's like an apron, but it looks like a skull on her back. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. What about your kids? It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Tasmili last had rain. Flint, please get some nice rest. 
It's been a while since we had rain. This rain. Looks like it won't be lighting up for a while. Flint, did you see anything else in the fire besides those weird bugs? I'm talking about some suspicious people wearing pig masks. Oh, it's pig masks. That's what they were? Those bastards. <gasps> he said a swear! They turned the forest pitch black. Swears in my video game? Thank you for the thank you for the sub there, Nuke. Appreciate it. In my Nintendo game. And you, Flint. You you wound up pitch black too. You should get some rest now, Dad. Oh yeah. You uh were pitch black too, fuel. Come on, Dad, you really need the rest now. Or when are Hinawa and the others coming back? With the forest like it is now, won't the way back be dangerous? Thanks for everything. This is nice music. This music doesn't sound like it's on a GBA, which is really weird. Like, did they do some fancy stuff to make the music sound like this? Isaac said he was going into the mountains to pick mushrooms. I hope he's all right. Helping others, but being helped by others, helping others out. Well, how do you like it, Flint? We kind of did. Neat. Cheers to this rain for putting out the fire. My husband is such a wimp. He was a nervous wreck during the fire. I was worried more about him than the fire. Yeah, hey there, Flint. Sorry, uh, wasn't much help earlier. Uh, if something never happens again, I will promise I'll help out. You must be tired. You should get some rest. Room on the farthest is unoccupied. Well, I'm fully healed, so that doesn't matter too much. Don't forget to use the bathroom before hitting the hay. I'll be sure to brush your teeth, too. Of course, brush your teeth. Flint! Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? I think I'll join you under the awning. Flint? Tell me. Have you seen Hinawa and the kids? No? I see. Uh, actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught sight of Hinawa. Then while I was taking a break by the river, heard loud roars far off in the distance. Sounded like it might have been a Drago that was roaring. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. Um, say, uh, Flint? Ain't no one of the kids made it back home, right? Um, I, I, I guess we should go, like, confirm that. Say, Flint, ain't no one of the kids made it back home, right? L let's just, uh, go home for a second. Where am I at? Um, this is where my house is. Okay, good. Give me a second to see that. Hello, save frog. Hello, dog. Hello, bird. Oh, by the way, what do you got for me? The letter? It's a letter from Hinawa. Uh huh. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. Neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. Uh-oh. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmilly Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in the air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of the neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite cookie right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. Oh, boy. Nothing else added there. I thought there was going to be something extra this time. Boy. Is the lane rain letting up? Uh oh. Yay, what's up, buddy? Oh, they're uh still not back? 
With all this rain, they could catch cold. I'll go find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere. It's getting late, so we should all go look for them. Let's get the other villagers to help, too. Least you could do for good old Flint. Okay, I'll go tell my dad, then. Okay. Let's just, uh... Hey, Papa, you want to come with? Woof, woof. Please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take Boney with you? Yeah. Woof, woof. It's puppy time. Boney joined your party. Look at the little face in the doghouse. Isn't that cute? Heck yeah, it's puppy time. We better make- we better go to the save frog before our game croaks. Ha ha ha, I'm sure I'm the first person to make that joke. Alright, I'm level 9. Be careful. Give my regards to the next frog. I need 36 for next level. Someone already made the same joke earlier. What are you doing? This is bad, real bad. You know when the kids aren't back. She did say they were coming back today. Where could Klaus and Lucas be? Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. Really want to help you out, honest. I'm, I'm totally just the guy to help you out. Alright. Guess he's not helping out. Where am I at? Can I go to the cemetery now? I know this is important, but... Okay, it's blocked off. Locked tightly. Hang on, when I go to dash, the puppy wags its tail. Nice. Yeah, we already picked up all that stuff. Hello? Oh, there you are, Flint. I asked everyone to split up and search the forest for Hinawa. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. Everything's gonna be fine. We have a puppy. I'd like to join the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. Seems like nobody's aware how strong I really am. All right, Mr. Wes. Burr, that's cold rain. I don't like it. Doesn't seem like it's ever gonna stop. Look at that lad. Got a Jeff face. Got a nut. You know what promise she teach me how to make delicious cookie? Chat, do you want to learn how to make delicious cookies? I can make cookies. Yeah, get him. Mr. Batty became tame. You won. Ow, my arms are jelly. Flint earned 20 XP. Can I go in here now? No problem here. Better use the save frog, you never know. Isaac's house. Give my regards to the next frog. Get him. Come on. Give him a little boop, a little bop, and we're on our way. Flint's level 10. Some good A RNG stuff right there. Hang on. 236. I don't think I really need to fight things right now. Oh, and I bumped into something anyway. Baked, ya yeah, monster. Fourteen. Got a lot of HP. How much did this thing give? 42? Oh, Boney can level up too. Nice. Baked yam. Mm -mm. And a 58. Whatever, you just take that for now. You know what seems to have a good head on her shoulders? Not you, though. You're pretty careless, so I bet you forgot to bring antidotes with you to the forest, despite the fact the place is teeming with mighty, bitey snakes everywhere. Here, you can have one of mine. If you don't think that'll be enough, you can always get more at Isaac's house. 
Okay. Snakes! I guess I should fight stuff. There's probably gonna be a boss then. Okay. And a poison already. <sighs> Immediately. 28 XP. I got another antidote. I'll just use that then. Your poison, this is for you. Poison disappeared from my body. Don't worry, Flint. With all these people looking, I'm sure we'll find them soon. Let's have faith and keep searching. I didn't realize it before because the flames were so intense, but it looks like the area over there got hit really bad by the fire, too. Uh oh. Uh oh, chat. A fire, then rain. And then children smiles. It'll be alright. Reggie knows it. Okay, Reggie. Let me bump into this. Will the yam still come over here, too? Mighty Bitey Snake became... <clears throat> 10. Aim. Can't talk. Yeet that snake out of here. How about you? Klaus is a troublemaker, so I bet he's hiding around here somewhere watching us worry our heads off. But Lucas is a crybaby, so he's probably in tears. Alright, let's take these boyos out. Better take out the snake first. Yeah, okay, I gotta smash. Uh oh. Okay, it's down. Yeah, he's charging. Didn't get it. I got lucky with the crits right there. Puppy's getting the, the crits on everybody. Bony leveled up again. We take that. May as well use some of these, n these nut things, shouldn't I? Hang on. <clears throat> Let me fix my seat. Nut bread. Use one on you. Nut cookie. Oh, no, wait, I have a regular nut, don't I? Let's give that to the dog for a second. Free up the inventory a tad bit. Bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum. There we go. Perfect. 42, bake DMs again. Good pupper, that's right. Hang on, here's presents. Beef jerky. Jerky of the beef variety. Ah, puppy's poisoned. Flint and company earned 28. All right, Flint went up again. Very small uh, gain right there, but that's okay. Didn't I have another antidote? Am I losing my mind? I don't see it. Stores 20 HP. Oh, wait, right. I switched the inventory of characters. I forgot that was still a thing, to be honest. And there's a key item tab now. Okay. All right, and then there's that. Let's put you at full health while I can. We've been calling their names for a while, but there's no response at all. Do you think maybe they're not here? A mini mini charm. Hang on. All right, may as well put that on Flint. Why did it say he was down a second ago? Hold up. Nothing he can equip anyway. I'm sure Klaus and Lucas will come racing here before long to have some of those slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. Why do you keep calling them that? That's so weird. 
Slightly unclean, not very tasty cookies. Actually, it looks like someone went and snapped these in half, not lightning, but that can't be possible. Hinawa's father lives right past here, but... Flint, what should we do? Um... I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Flint. Those huge trees snap right in two. This isn't good. How could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's only one thing for sure. Whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. What do we do now? We have the path completely blocked. It's a tree. Walk around it. Actually, Hinawa and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knocked down trees blocking the way. Even if it's not even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. Probably best we split up into a few groups. Alrighty then. Hey! Lumber lads, have you found Hinawa and the kids? Spider? Are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like an injured clod. Oh, there's multiple trees back there, too. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. Be careful, Flint. There's no telling what's lurking out there. My dad lives life with lots of energy, so he's not like regular people. Mr. Flint, my dad will do his best. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing ahead. This is pretty much all I can do. All right. Let's go for a little run, why don't we? Save Frog. I hope Hina was all right. Jonal and the others are all gathered at the bottom of the cliff over there. I wonder if something's happened. I'm sure everything is fine. Let's make a save. Great cliff. Please be careful. Give my regards to the next frog. All the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes. Oh, no, I meant that in a good way. What I mean is I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. Thump, thump. It's just a guess, but I'd say a Draco climbed up from here. Looking nice and fancy. See those claw marks? Those most certainly belong to a Drago. Why would, why would a Drago claw at stuff like this? But, uh... Enough to leave gashes and rock, even. They're such a peaceful creature. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest. The people, the animals, and me. Oh, I see. The animals, they're going crazy, like how when, um... Uh, Gygus's influence was affecting everybody in Earthbound. And me. No problem here. So I can't do anything over this way, can I? Do I need to go back over and... Oh, puppy. Puppy, what's up? You see something there, boy? What is it, Boney? Flint, I think Boney found something. What's he got there, boy? He's hooting. Hi, Vampy. How you doing? Oh, look up there. There's a scrap of cloth. Don't you see it? There's a bit of red right over there. What is it? There's something on top of the cliff? Old man West, what are you doing here? Sorry to say, there's nothing a rickety old man can do to help us. Oh, Flint, don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaling the cliff face is too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it'll help any, but let's get him here so we can try. I need to borrow Boney for a bit. Here you go, puppy. Pony, 
Bring my son back here. My son's name is... Uh, strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. Duster? Alright then. His name is Duster. Got that? Here, have a sniff of this sock. Gah, that's ripe. Don't forget the smell now. That's ripe, alright. Go, puppy, go. I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch. Woof, woof, you can count on me. Hello, everybody. This is me recording in the future, letting all of you know that the music in this cutscene gets claimed, so I have to mute it, and now I'm recording this over so that you don't have to listen to complete silence while it plays out. But anyways, I hope you could just enjoy this little cutscene of this dog running to greet the kids and go find his little friend there. Uh, it looks like Mother 3 might take a little extra effort to get on YouTube after all. I've been trying to get this uploaded for a few days at the time of recording this. There are a few other parts, maybe like a minute at a time, where I'm also going to have to mute and record over it, but it's okay. It's really just a very small part of the video where I have to do this, so... So far, nothing like a battle theme has been affected. Anyways, look at this little wholesome dog having to drag the guy completely through the forest like that. That takes a lot of effort right there. Now look at him run for it. Look at him go! By the way, if you're wondering, yes, it's the SoundCloud wrappers again. It's not Nintendo or anything like that. Anyways. Yeah, you made it. Duster? At long last, it's time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now, show us your wall staple technique right here, right now. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. We, what's he gonna do? This area looks scalable here. Whoa, he's got staples. He's making a ladder. He's going. So intense just to get a guy to make a ladder. All right, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. Those claw marks are from a Drago. You'd best be careful. I had no idea Duster had special abilities. The thief arts are an incredible thing. I'd be too scared to climb up. Who knows what could be lurking up there. The rain stopped? Looks like the rain has stopped. I have a slightly a uh, slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Duster, join the party. Ah, save your game. I think I should. Up, up, um. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog. It's the same color as Hinawa's dress. Got a scrap of cloth. No, oh, this music. Oh, these aren't friends? Mischievous Mole? He's got a yellow... He's got a little yellow orb. That's how you know he's mischievous. Thief tools, wall staple. Sniff. Just bite. Trick Duster. Fence decreased. Hmm. The mole is down. You win! 31 XP. There's some nut bread. Heck yeah. Beef jerky! Yet again. Let's take it out. Ow. There we go. Perfect.
Perfect. Oh. Bony's level is now nine. Left the present. There's some nut bread. Booyah. Can I run in here? Yes, I can. Nut bread. Everyone gets bread with nuts in it. Again, not the game for people with nut allergies. Alright, there we go. You won. 31 XP. More nut bread. Guess there's nothing in there except that. Can't move. Hey, Flint, there's someone here. What are they... Dude, what... What are they doing to that moose? What are those? Are they human? Well, I'm like a freaking Sonic, like, roboticized thing to them. What are they doing? Gotta stop them before I get, they get to the bears. Uh-oh. Push the button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It just rip its, arm, like, limbs off and just replace them with metal? Uh-oh. A reconstructed caribou is suddenly attacking. Fantastic. Mm hmm Let's do that. And mm, let's just hit him with this. Yeah, he didn't get it. Generate an intense burst of steam. Okay, he's going to attack. Let's aid it. Went berserk. 45, 34. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on, it went too fast there for me. Hmm. Better guard next time it does that. Hmm. Just give you the yam. Forty for you. Ten spurs to steam. Okay. I want you to still attack, but you two are gonna guard. Damn. Oh, not that much of a difference there, huh? Alright, you two then. Give nut bread to the dog. And the dog can give... Well, it can just bite, I guess. Come on. Okay, so far so good. Okay, it's doing this again. You can guard. You can guard. Oh no, it smashed puppy. Damn. Everybody's gonna have to heal now. Let's see. Nut bread for puppy. Nut bread for you. Or actually, maybe you should have the jerky. And puppy can do nothing but attack. Just do some damage this turn. Damn. Yeah, bony. Eat up. Okay, here it comes again. Shoot. Hang on, it's probably better if I just use my beef jerky on Flint for this turn, and you guys can guard. Okay, need to hit him for the high damage now. I don't know if this will really do anything to him, but you know what, I'm gonna try it now. Her wall staples. 
pinned him down. I didn't think that would actually do anything, to be honest. I thought it would be like a Jeff joke attack. Well, I shouldn't have did that at the start. It's okay. You win, and no one died. 112. Duster's level is 9. HP went up by 7. Offense, 2. Scrapped him. Teddy dabbed on that lad. Where are they going? Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose-like mark on the cover. Give it a read. The following is written in poor handwriting. All creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. All right. That sounds really stupid. They got a ship? If they go near the teddies, we're gonna rough them up. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. Let me explain skills to you. Sorry for being so sudden. Anyway, you and your party have special skills you can use during battle. These might be centered around items, physical actions, or whatever else. Basically, it's all different for each person. For details, press start to bring up the menu. You can check everyone's skills from the stat screen. It'd be a real waste to neglect your special skills, so give it a try. Well, now to end with this sparrow-like chirp chirp. Okay, we'll look at a bit, though. Cliff here is crumbled. It doesn't look like there's any way to get across. Is that it, then? No problem here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Wall staples, sniff. So this is how I can check these. Swing wildly. Okay, so it's a random hit for each enemy. That's what that does. Ah, this one is inaccurate. I thought so. Those ones are pretty straightforward, yeah. Looks like this is all I can do up here. Incredibly suspicious object. It's anyone's guess what it is. We should finish the save, frog. Mount Oriander. The dog is just happily hopping down just fine. Where'd everyone go? Flint, Duster, I'm glad you're all right. We cleared those big trees out of the way. Everyone's gone ahead. We couldn't have done it without Lighter and Isaac's help. I'm glad the thief arts prove useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. Everyone seems so cold. I'm actually burning up, though. Talk to him. Burr, so cold. I hope he know a... Ah, a shoe. Doesn't catch cold, too. Flint! Yeah, we found the kids! It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Boney. You just hurry and see him. Come, Boney. All right, puppy, you go on ahead for now. It's Duster. Yeah, Duster has a little mustache. That's what that is. Ina was a wonderful person. I'm sure God will look out for her. Essie's tending to the kids right now. Hurry and go see them. Flint, we found the children. We did it. We did it, Flint. With everyone working together, there's nothing we can't do. Oh, yeah, now you say that. What, are they supposed to be a comedy duo? Frog! Save your game? Damn right I'm saving my game. Never know what could happen. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog. Why do I keep reading that? Flint! Duster! This way! This way! Frog is a friend. Always be helpful with the save frog. Hey, kids, you alright? Dad. Everything okay? I made some in it tea, Flint. 
Please have some. It'll, war it'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. It's tea. Should be nice. Should be cozy. Where's, uh, your mother, boys? Seems they both fell into the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. Dad. Moms. Moms. We haven't found Hinawa yet, but for now you should warm yourself up by the fire. If you keep this up, you'll wind up worse off than her. Flint. What's going on? What's up, lad? Flint! I I'm not sure what to say, but j just stay calm and hear me out. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No, no, no. L let me start with the good news first. I, I picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news... The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your... Oh. It was pierced through your wife's heart. You, you have a terrible frickin' way of delivering that as good news, buddy. Yeah, you see that blood on the tooth? That's, that's your wife's. Gosh, damn. Flint, try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hinoa risked her life to protect them. Holy crud. Animals going crazy this time, just like straight up killed somebody at the beginning. Flint? The hell you doing, bro? Dude, settle down. Flint! Flint, I'm not sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Holy dude! Flint, what are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching. Get knocked down a bit there. Oh, now we're going to tragic backstory land. Everyone good? Come on, Mom. I'm gonna go see Grandpa and everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry. We'll just look after Boney and look after the sheep. Everything's gonna be all right. See you later, Hinawa. Oof. No, they locked him up. I mean, I guess that makes sense. No one's ever been thrown in Tazmili's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint, 
You gave Ollie and Abbott, uh, Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinawa, I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try to get some sleep. Drago Fang that was stuck in Hinoa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house to get it. Don't forget now. Oh, at least I get a cool equip weapon. Appears to have been unused for a long time. Stretch a teeny tiny bit. The lock is rusted. Uh, lighter's lumber. Do I have anything on me? Just the regular stuff. I'm probably going to ram it. Or do I ram this? The window. No, no, I have to keep checking the door. I see. Dad, it's me, Klaus. I told Lucas to come too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core might be too hard to eat, but. Be sure you eat it. Oh, he put a key in there, did he? I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... Eat the apple? Or... Flint got an apple. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Lock is rusted. Use the hand file to break the lock. Yeah. Everything's A-OK, -okay, chat. The hand file became unusable. Music sounds a little crusty here all of a sudden. No problem here. No problem here. Hey, it's Duster. Sheriff's office. I look like I am the sheriff around here. Uh, Flint. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hinoa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hinoa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, let me know. If there's anything else I can do for you, let me know anytime. Mm. Sheriff not wanted. After all, there's no crime. <laughs> Until I showed up here. Hang on, where am I at? I see. Clackety, clackety. This is Reggie's house. Okay. Let me pick up stuff. Nut bread. Reggie is not here right now. I guess I should go to the cemetery. I also drop by, uh, was it? No, that wasn't Isaac. Who was that? Mr. Flint, what's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place. We're baking nut bread. If you need something from the map-loving map owner maps, then it must be a map, yeah? Is that what you need? Oh, Klaus and Lucas? I believe they're at the Sunset Cemetery. Your map's been marked. It was Bronson. Where's Bronson's house, though? Hello, Flint. Are you already out and about again? Have you eaten? Let's have a look around. Flint, um, please just forget that you hit me. I'm gonna forget about it. Compared to your pain, it's nothing at all. Flint, um, Abbott and Ollie don't hold anything against you. Please don't be worried. Like, at least say sorry. I understand how you must be feeling. Please don't lash out at those around you. Oh, hello there. I wasn't the one who decided to place you in the jail cell. Really, it wasn't me. Who 
over to you. Oh, busy, busy. Everything here looks in pretty samey. Oh, it's you. I don't have any, have any hard feelings for you. Very open-hearted, you see? All right, well, they've, they've forgiven me, so that's okay. Hang on. Thomas is bizarre. Flint, I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyway, this is the village bazaar. You need anything? Go ahead and take it. That's a running bomb. Use it, you find yourself in trouble. Take it. I guess. Radio. If anyone makes any more, I'll send, send them out here. That's a flea charm. Protect you if you equip it. Take it. Whoops, can't hold any more stuff. In it, T. Okay. Well, I already have a charm equipped right now. No problem here. Hmm. Ah, there you are. That was a very nice grave old uh, Nipolite made, but I had to come back home. Seeing Lucas' sobbing face was too much for me to handle. Hang on, he said he was gonna give me something. Do I have a, a nut cookie to use up? I guess I could just give up the stick now. That was a very nice grave, but I had to come back home. Oh, he's not gonna actually give it to me, give me it? I thought he told me not to forget, so I assumed it was important. Maybe I gotta come back later. For now, let's just go to the cemetery and see what see how our boy Lucas is doing. Flint, you really lost it during that wild outburst of yours. I know you had your reasons, but it's wrong to act out your aggression on others. If you're looking for villagers, almost everyone's at the cemetery. Everyone loved Hinoa. We can forget happy things. We can probably forget sad things, too. People have the power to forget. Graves never look so scenic. No zombies allowed, though, chat. You're a zombie, stop watching. Mr. Flint, this was such a terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it now. And when the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. The grave is unusually wobbly. It seems Klaus was the first person at Hinoa's grave this morning. When I called out to him as he was leaving, he gave a tiny little smile and suddenly dashed off. True connoisseurs know this is the ultimate shovel of the highest quality. Sob, sniff, Hinoa. Hick, sob, Hinoa. She barely even got to live life. When you agree... I cannot drink at a time like this. Oh, is he drunk? I think that's why he's hiccuping. Flint! Hinoa was always so kind to my wife. I wish I could say more for you, but I've never been at such a loss for words. Oh, Flint. Hello, Mr. Flint. Did Klaus go off somewhere? Yeah. When's he coming back? Tomorrow? Hinoa dying? Just don't want to believe it. Flint. You and Hinoa, you two loved each other so much that even the little birds in the forest were jealous. That'll never change, even after this. Sorry for my old man's drunkenness, Flint. My deepest condolences to you. Oh, jeez. I wish I could pound fate with this 2 by 4 I don't know what to say to Lucas. Oh, Flint. I was just trying to remember what sunflowers symbolize, because Hinoa really loved them. Where's Klaus? Mr. Flint, please cheer up. Um, um, I'm sure Hinoa... I'm sure she's up in the sky now. Wah. It feels like I only just introduced you to Hinoa, too. I'm sorry you gotta suffer such sadness. 
No problem here. I can't talk to him from this angle. She was so cheerful and nice. She was even my mommy's best friend. If only we'd started looking earlier. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Hinoa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with the grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas, it's not good to see keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try to... N n no! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains to kill the Drago. Uh-oh. Ah! It's a good thing you raised him, to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! Maybe that was a little too harsh of me, Flint. Sounds like Klaus is headed to the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're gonna need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight Dragos with and then hurry to my place. Well, I know where to get that. Come get me at my house after you got yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, you have old maps and the market on your map for ya. Think he's in the town square. Okay, of flowers offered to everyone's beloved Hinoa. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins, Klaus and Lucas, daughter of Alec. May the beautiful Hinoa rest in peace for all time. Oh. Sunflowers, Hinoa's favorite. Jeez. Gosh, golly, this is depressing. Can I get in here? It's locked. Okay, looks like I should go get my stuff. This intro is quite long, isn't it? Everyone's staring at me, see, at me as I go by. I'm feeling heartbroken too, chat. Oh, I just wanted to get a drink there. Flint, just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce through hide of a Drago is a Drago Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, I don't have space for it, do I? <laughs> wait, no, it's right there. Can I not... No, no, no! Flint's inventory is full? What? But I'm... Um, but I'm holding it right now. It won't swap the weapons? Is that why? Whatever, just use that. It's the only key item in the game that does this. Oh. Alright then. Now I have it equipped, I think? No, I don't, but alright, that's a little weird. Let's get up to his house now. Hang on, where am I at right now? Sheriff's over there. Save Frog, I need ya. Saving, don't turn off the power. Be careful. Thank you, Save Frog. Oh yeah, this guy. I can't talk to him. He looks so freaking unnerving. Just standing there like that.
Mouse! You snuck up on a greeny mouse from behind. It turned around! Look at that! Sick little face. Kick that mouse. 35. Hang on, how close am I to a level? 58. So I should beat some things. Just make sure I top up here first. Charles Entertainment Cheese, what are you doing here? That mouse just looked like he was minding his own business, but he's in the way. He looks like he thinks he can get more cheese from me. When I go for walks, I regularly have to fight mice like that, too. Get your ass over here, cheese boy. He turned around. Ow, of course he gets a crit on me. Everyone gets a damn crit. Mouse was taught a lesson. Peculiar... Oh, yeah, hang on. Uh, all right. Throw away the nut. Yes, just throw it away. Peculiar cheese. My inventory seems much larger here. Look at that goofy little face he's got. Come on. You won. Now give me a level. Okay, good. I'll take that. Now it's actually advance. Don't want to waste time with the snakes because they'll probably poison me. Got my level. Big EM monster turned around. Intense burst of steam. He was charging up for a super attack. Baked yam. Well, the baked yam does restore more than the bread, right? So, whatever. Yeah, throw it away. Kick it. Where am I at? Yeah. Oh boy, here they come. Blind mouse used a bite. Okay, good. No poison risk anymore. Come on. And he is dead. You won. Kill your cheese. No. Yes, give up peculiar cheese. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Hang on, how close am I to a level? Do I want to be fighting these guys? 233? I probably could get another one, depending on how long this path goes. But I don't want to fight the snakes, because I don't have antidotes. Ah. Come on. Probably just eat one of those things I got. No, no, not equipment. What am I doing? We'll fight the mouse. Not let the snake in on this. Look at that freaking mouse's eyes, too. Come on. Come on. I guess I'm gonna have to have some more nut bread. They are handing that crap out like candy, though. They're handing out like, uh, nut bread, basically. This is where everything went to hell. I had to press A to start a battle with it. Walking bushy. Okay, then. Life up alpha. Come on. Come on. 
Did it just heal my poison if I, I well it would have healed poison if I did that, I think. Only 8 XP. Well then. Spud bug and its cohorts. Alright then, let's try using swing finally. Spud bug attacks. Look at the, look at their goofy ass faces. Oh boy, he's healing. Wait, so swing costs nothing and it does a bash attack to everyone anyway? Is there any reason to not use swing? I guess it can't use the rhythm effect, I guess? Didn't hit them all. Oh, no, it did. can also potentially miss too, I guess, yeah. This battle basically forces you to use it, for sure. We got him. 72 XP, boys. Safe wrong. Darn right I'm gonna save my game. Uh-oh. We got boars going on now. Let me try fighting one of them. Agitated boar. Come on. Alright, we got him. Guard. Okay. Kick in the ground. He's preparing for it again. No, he just keeps kicking the ground. Alright, fine then, I'll attack it. <sighs> I thought kicking the ground was the sign he was gonna charge the next turn. Beef jerky. I should eat something. What does the cheese do? HP restores, value, uh, differs from person to person. Flint loves cheese? Okay. 60 HP. Works for me. Literally. Oh, what's this? Beef jerky? Oh, this doesn't look good. Moles! Beef jerky from a bowl. Or a boar, sorry. Did that just say homesick? Was it Did the mole get homesick? Didn't say I'm homesick. It damn well better not have. You win! 13. Alright, there we go. Look at this nut. Look at it go. We got more nut bread. No, just... Throw it away. Mole's not even worth it. What? Aquarius bracelet. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to eat something. Mushroom is only 20. Yeah. Two extra defense. We'll take that. What the hell is this thing? Hydrate and set up a crag lizard. Oh boy. Let me get it again. Only three. Edging closer. That's nothing. I got too much power now. Come on. Yeah, good. Let's get rid of this darn thing. You win! 70 XP. Anyways, I gotta have to find my son here. Hang on, where am I at? Oh, I'm all the way at the top. Silly me. Didn't realize how close we were. No problem here. Yeah, 
I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What are those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? Seems one bit me right on the head, too. I've, if, I've healed up perfectly, though. No, 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 none of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. Thank you, Mix, for the 34 months. I appreciate it. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Alec joined your party. Anything upstairs? No. Looking handsome. That scene outside? Flint? When I said froggy intelligence ne just now, you thought, what, didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Alright. Flint? You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as, uh... The Magypsies? They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very long time. Hang on, before that, was I able to check over here elsewhere? It's going down there. Oh, can't check the sign, that happened. Let me strengthen up. Alec urged Flint to be careful. Come on. We're damaging it. Alec attacked a little bit. Hang on, I should probably just eat something. Okay, good. We killed it much faster that time. You won! 70 XP. Ahead, Arjun Pass. I know how you feel, but stay away. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them. Don't continue that direction. Alright, we're not going that way. I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you'll know. So I have to head backwards? Flint? I see you're not walking as fast now. Seems the word Magypsies has made you curious. The Magypsies have mysterious powers. They have been projecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good-natured, though. Hmm. Oh, come on! He did not get the back there. Mischievous mole threw a rock. Pop. Come on. I should probably e eat a quick few items here. I could use some more space in my inventory anyway. Nup red. Nup red. Okay. You getting us hit there, boy? Get him. Thirty-one. Flint took that. Hang on, so this says go that way, but there's nothing over there. Round and round where I go, soon you'll stop, nobody know. Alright. The arrow guys say down here. mice, or frogs, wrong. I am the wrong frog. 
Right, right. Frog, the right frog. Croak, croak. Oh, is that a bad word? Okay, maybe I can just call them someone else. I can just call them the frog people. How about that? No problem here. Hoppity hoppity. Hippity hoppity. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. You know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? If your inventory is full when you find an item you want, you'll have to either give it up or throw another away. Which is why it's a good idea. Doing this will help you. There we go. Ugh. Doing this will keep your inventory. There we go. Doing this will keep your inventory from getting full. This little trick is especially useful when you're hi hiking through forests and mountains. Well, now to end this with a sparrow-like... A chirp, a chirp, chirp. A quick reminder, chat, when you start your message with sorry to backseat, that doesn't make it okay to backseat. It's still backseating. <laughs> Save your game. Let's do that. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. And here's a hot spring. Chirp, chirp. The frog people are having their monthly tea party today. Can you hear these indescribably deep yet shrill voices coming from uh, Aeola's house? Chirp, chirp. Hmm. Moo cow. I'm in the mood for a milking. Okay. You got some fresh milk. Wow, you're good at that. Sorry to backseat, but if you beat enemies, you get XP. Now, why'd you tell me that? Cave here. Flint, go wherever your heart takes you, but not that way. All right, then. Double check this. Monthly tea party today. Oh! Oh! Big conch thing. How's it going, everybody? Oh, welcome, you scary-looking gentleman. Is that Alec? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude. Introduce us. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alec. And who is this with you? Lint, you say, well, it's very nice to meet you. Now, let's get you all properly introduced to us, the frog people. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are. First, we have name that starts with A. Then there's Doria. Uh, Phrygia? Lydia? And the other where is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me, uh, Ionia. Hmm? Ionia. Ionia. Ionia? Hmm, you can't remember all that? Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alecky Poo? It's been a while. Glad to see you're well. I hear you helped my grandson, Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Where? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a little while ago? I suppose this Flint fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So what about Klaus? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So he left then. And you didn't stop him. What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute, gone the next. You poor things barely live a hundred years, if that. 
that uh, that's a blink of an eye to us frog people. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now. You two. Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Alicky Poo? I understand how you feel. I really do. I don't care if you understood or not. Just tell us where Klaus went. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you just might catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry. All right, let's get out of here then. I pray for your success. You can do it, humans. Yeah, let's go, humans. And teddies. Flint. The quickest way to get to Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. Klaus probably went through the cave, too. There's nothing to worry about, Flint. You're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Yeah. Okay, but you still seem pretty tense, if you ask me. Can I go in the- Yeah, okay, we enter through here. Let me just heal myself right quick with this. In this channel, chat, we like teddies because they're awesome. Teddy bears are friends. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is one of the worst, like, filter things ever. Flint! It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. More importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Gotta relax, he says. Keep going west at the fork in the road. All right. Go north here. Just listen. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and jump right down. There it is. Flint, follow the southeast passage. Okay. Oh, Flinty Poo! That was my frog person impression. Did you like it? Relax, relax. You see, I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. You see. Head west from here. Yet, yeah, first I want this. Running bomb. What did they call them in Smash Brothers? Weren't they, like, mentioned somewhere there? I don't remember. Or does, like, the Smash localization, like, phase out that name, too? Wait, because it's, like, a more of a recent thing, isn't it? I don't know. Wait. Was that you? Just kidding, it was me. My son could be dead right now, Alec. Great time for your fart joke. Don't think Smash references them, okay. I thought they were like a trophy or something. Because I feel like I've seen the name there before. You've won. Let's get rid of this mole because he's going to get us anyway. Mischievous mole scratched with its claws. Concerned about his lower back pain. Well, maybe he shouldn't have come along then. Mole has been booped. You won. Inside the present, there was some nut bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just giving up. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? Pretty sure there's a vine to the north. We need to... We need to vine it and climb up it. Oh, I see a vine there. The fact there's a vine here means that my directions were just wrong. Sorry, want me to say a pun or something? No. I want to make sure my son is okay. North here, head north. Okay, let's go. Flinty pie. Don't be so embarrassed. Ha ha ha. I see a rock thing. We're as good as there now. We've made it this far. Now we just need to head upward and climb some vines. Divines go up because they divine. Come on, it's just a pun. How close am I to a level? 129. 
Chronic Lizards are kind of annoying to fight, so let's just beat these. He's scratching me with the claw. Get him! Yeah, boop him. You won! You got 31. Inside, there's some nut bread. No, but I guess I'll just eat one of the ones I got. Maybe just use one of the mushrooms. Wait, did it affect me? Did it damage me? Uh, why is my character flashing? Is it because of the battle? I think it is. Let's beat these up. You encountered a mischievous mole in its cohort. He fell over. Okay, bat down. Ten hits, 103 damage, 51 XP. Alec probably doing the best out of desperation. Yeah, he is. We're at the other side of this now. You know what? We'll take this guy out. Oof. Brute force. Let's strengthen up. Rag Lizard bore down and attacked. Okay. Damn. Not getting the thing. Okay, he went for that extra one damage there. It's fine. Ooh, there's the smash. Barely see that happen. 70 XP. I'm level 14. We all take a little bit of that right there. Does it fully heal me? No, it did not. Hang on. Let me just eat a baked yam. I got rotten milk. Oh, it went bad while I was... Hmm. It went bad while I was running around with it, I guess. May as well use it up. That milk expired real fast. Save frog. The milk went bad? Yeah, I know. It's barely been like 20 minutes since I got it, I think. Did I save? Let me do it again anyway. Be careful out there. What's up here? Presents. Beef jerky. You guys! Hey, it's that thing. Run for it! Some strange stuff you've never seen is lying here. Only a few seconds, this instant revitalizing device fully revitalizes you. Yeah, it is that thing, but it's got a pig nose on it now. Yeah! Feel the power. You're fully revitalized. Just climb down here. They're going for it. They're playing their theme song again. Those little brats. What is that? A scorpion dino? Uh. Titany. Hmm. Let's power up. Brandish the pincer. Urge me to be careful, huh? Okay. Just gotta get it. Damn. Come on. Alright, we got it. 63 XP. Vulture? No problem here. Okay, it's a battle. I thought it was gonna be like a little support character I talked to. Balding Eagle attacked. He's got that little face. All right, let's go. 
impact would it be? Okay, I messed it. There's a lot of enemy variety so far, ain't there? Well, he's dead. It's not an eagle translators. Yeah, it's a vulture. Nut bread. Nut bread is quickly becoming useless. Have I heard this music before? Fresh lumber. Wait, is that an equip item? Yes, it is. Damn it, not enough. Ah, come on, you can do it. Hypnosis A. No, no, no. Okay, he's down. 63 is good enough. Yeah, I feel like I've heard this theme in Earthbound somewhere. Beef jerky. Enemies are just in the frickin' way. Okay, if I can just get it to go twice, it's fine. I'm not sure how the d extra damage of the combo is uh, calculated. Obviously, it's gotta be less. Cowboys and aliens coming right up. I should probably check south of that bridge, actually. Urge me to be careful, huh? At least I got more than enough healing items. This is going just fine. Going much more smoothly than uh, Earthbound's beginning. I'll just use the cheese. Hang on. Was this just a side path? Yeah, that's where the other bridge is. Okay, so it doesn't look like I missed any items. Getting the full combo every time. It's fine. Ah, there's one. Beef jerky. Alright then. Well, I cleared the path up here, so let's just continue now. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta go across the bridge again. I got the items to the left side there. Frog. I'm guessing this is where we're gonna have a boss fight. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jeez. Be careful. How close am I? 89. Okay, yeah, I should probably just get a level. It's like killing two things. Damn it, not enough. Brandished a pincer, but that don't matter. You won! 63. Okay, let me just reset the room, go in and out. All right, get him. Damn it. Damn it. Can't get it at all. Six HP, two offense, one speed, okay. There, that should do it for now. Now let's go save at the save frog again. Seems like you can level up recently fast in this game. Did I actually save it or did I just back out of the menu? I'm, I'm worried I didn't do that, okay. Hey, it's the baby! What you got there, friend? Roar!
This is one of Klaus's favorite shoes. This belongs to Klaus. That was a baby Drago just now. Klaus must be around here somewhere. Got a child shoe. Nut bread. The trees are alive! Oh, great. Is it gonna explode on me now? Spread its root into the earth. Come on. Oh, it's bursting into flames. 82! In the battle. In the battle. Oh, holy moly. I hate when that. I hate exploding enemies in this series. That'll do for now. We got a lot more of the better heal items now. Well, now they're gonna fight. No problem. Come on. Come on. Thing has ended. 72 XP. Looks like the thing you saw atop the cliff earlier. This one appears to be broken. Well, I can't get around him now. All right, let's just take him out. He called for help. Come on. As I just mashed through it there. We're okay. Got some beef jerky. Chirp, chirp. Up ahead, Drago territory. Please be careful if you're heading in. Now, to end this with a sparrow like chirp, chirp, chirp. Hmm. Klaus's other shoe. It's Klaus's other shoe. Uh-oh. Klaus, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Uh-oh. What is that? That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. It's missing a fang. Here we go. Mecha Drago suddenly attacked. Stomp the giant foot. Missed. Okay, increase offense a bit. Fell into war cry. Well, it negated that. Use it. Yeah, I know, buddy. I Did I not? Oh, I actually have to physically use it from the menu. That's what he means. The fake equipment didn't work. Flint grasped the Drago Fang tightly and pounced on the Mecha Drago. I wouldn't have been able to damage it otherwise, probably. It pierced the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The Mecha Drago let out a howl. Stomped with a giant foot. Alec urged Flint to be careful. The Drago Fang in hand, Flint sprung upon the Mecha Drago. The Mecha Drago's tough hide had already been pierced. Oh! Oh, oh, it's, I see. I just break, like, his his shield with that. So now I can attack him. Come on. Come on. Eat some beef jerky, bro. I can't get the rhythm for this one at all. 40. 
Let's eat more beef jerky. Let everything be okay. Come on. There we go. Getting some of it. hits. Okay, I found the beat. Alright. Come on. Keep going. Damn it. Didn't get it again. Ten hits. Shooting flames. No problem. Five hits. One last attack. Took mortal damage. You won. Flint's level is now that. He, he survived the battle though, right? Uh-oh. Come on, get up. You're still kicking, Flint. And so is he. Yeah. He's going for it. Oh. Flint, don't do it. That won't solve anything. You'll only make its child go through what Klaus and Lucas had to. Possible that until now the people of Tasmili Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals, are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people like Flint have even had their families torn apart. Just what is this suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Klaus be? I, I think I can see where he is. The mysteries continue to pile up. No, that's the bodies doing that. And so the tale first begins as a tragedy. Good golly. Ooh. Golly. Like the kid fell. Hop. Hello, I'm Mr. Frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Yeah. Happy menu music after that. Chapter one and Flint. I'm not really sure what to say. What's going on here? What happened to Hinawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hinawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. 
If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Am I gonna see a different perspective now? Duster? Oh, he did. Okay. Thanks. Chapter 2, Thief Adventure. Thief Adventure now, we're playing as Duster. Duster, I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. Castlevania ass music. Listen, the time has come. No, this is not something we have been looking forward to. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have been constantly preparing for this day in the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown. We must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Yeah. Duster. I'm going to give you a mission. You will sneak into Osohe, oh, Osohe Castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. As for what this certain important item is... No, there's no need for me to tell you. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Sure. It's a very important looking item. It's like... all oh, shiny. Yeah. Is it a green teddy bear? I will say no more than that. It's a green teddy bear. Green teddy Ursa must be rescued from the castle. That's my mission. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical t thief tools. Uh, no, wait. Were there seven? Well, whatever. Take them with you. They will prove useful during your battles with the enemy. All right, then. Duster up the present. Get a hypno pendulum. Heck yeah, we're gonna hypnotize him. Tickle stick. Scary Mask. Smoke Bomb. Siren Beetle. At least that's what's written here, so it's probably best to not touch it. Here's to be empty. Alright then. Ordinary Shoes. Mini Mini Charm. Head. Got nothing. No bracelet either. So I'm guessing these are reusable items for this. Wait, what? Where are they? Oh, they're going the key item slot. Okay, that's good. So these are all my skills, basically. Scares an enemy, lowering their offense. Tickle stick, tickles an enemy, lowering its defense. Sway it in front of an enemy to lull it into a deep sleep. A deep sleep, blah. A beetle that makes a shrill noise, causes an enemy to stop and cover its ears. Wall staples, okay. My status gear. Let me talk to you again. Hidden inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world. Back when the king of Osohi lived in the castle. Yes, I believe that's when it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. I felt it was too much e even the king of Osohi to handle, so I recall anyway. But the as of yet unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me. But Duster, I feel confident I've hammered every technique I know into you. Try to accomplish this mission yourself. So, try to accomplish this yourself, understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. I've hidden another mystical thief tool-like item there. Why did I hide them separately? That's what I'd like to know. I refill the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined, so keep it in mind. Okay. 
Hello again, everybody. It's me in the future, recording over this so you don't have to hear complete silence. Duster's overworld theme for this chapter seems to run into some issues on YouTube, so I kind of have no choice but to mute it and record over it. But that's okay, because we're still going to enjoy it. We are not going to let the SoundCloud rappers win. I will play and upload Mother 3. Bow wow, grr, my instinct scream bark at him. Say, what do you do for a living? Don't tell me you're actually a... Well, he's actually a thief. Move out of the way, little dog. It's pretty laid out. It would be best to not bother people. And if we go up over here, we should probably get our map marked so we can actually find the castle. If you need something from the map-loving, map-owning Mapson, it must be a map, yes? Oh, if it isn't Duster. He's just kind of standing out here waiting for me. I see you still enjoy your nighttime strolls. Ooh, you want to go to Osohi Castle? In that case, I'll mark it on your map. Your map has been marked. I'm not going to even bother asking what you're off to do this late at night, but you know the drawbridge is up, right? Oh, we sure do. That means you can't get inside, but there's rumors of an underground passage that leads to the castle. I bet Nepalite, the gravekeeper, knows something about it. Don't know if I'm saying that name right, but probably close enough. Yeah, you can see the castle right there. I thought it was just the graveyard. Don't ask me why there's a castle so close to the town there. Oh, hang on. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. A friend and his monkey. I'm sorry, we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey. We should be off. Yeah, go have a nice little adventure. Catch you later there, little friend. Catch you later. Walking off awfully slowly. And Duster, what else are you getting up to? The buddy up here. The friend up here. Duster! Hmm? Hmm? If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. A cool secret, he says. How cool. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tasmili before. But apparently, an era of money is about to start. What's an era of money? What? What is it? Huh? 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 Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Is he now? Didn't seem like a smart idea. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taken off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Duster, this secret is just between you and me. Hmm. Maybe we'll take it, though. Obtain 50k. 50,000k. But you put it back. Yeah, you're not allowed to take the money. You're not allowed to take the money whatsoever. Anyways, since I'm out of cutscenes, maybe I have a chance to explain things. Uh, it's about to go back to the actual uh, stream audio. But yeah, the overworld theme for Duster has some issues, so I kind of have no choice but to kind of mute in small chunks here. So anyways, hope you're still enjoying the VOD. Take you back to past me in just... Three, two, one. Oh, walking into a cutscene, it seems. Who's up here? Oh. It's the New Pork City theme again. Oh no, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, well, then let's go have a look up here. More to the north. Everything all right here? Oh, it's not all right here. He's got a striped shirt. Oh, Duster. Good. I'm, uh, live? Look at that animation. Oh, gah. Didn't I die? More. More! I want to live more. Uh oh. You're gonna eat me! Oh my, is that you, Duster? My, how you've grown. 
Why, there's so much of you. I could eat for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. Yeah. Well, here we go then. A zombie man and his cohorts are attacking. Well then, beat tools. Hmm. Tit. Do they all hit one target? Yeah. Well then, let's pin them down first. Zombie lady can't move. Does it only work for one turn? Let's try these out. They clearly want me to. Smoke bomb. Try this. But it didn't work. Zombie lady still can't move? Okay, good. How much health do I even have right now? I'm probably gonna get bodied right here. Thunder- I think they want me to use this here. That seems to be what we want to do. There's still the one left there. The guy's got more health. Zombie's making an odd sound. Kick him. Okay. Zombie man's having trouble balancing. Let's try the hypno pendulum. Zombie man fell asleep. Zombie man woke up. So if I hit someone when they're asleep, they'll just wake right up, so it's good to stall a whole big group with it. When enemies are sleeping, you can hear the beat. Oh, is that why it suddenly stood out? 100 XP, nice. Okay, once again, it's me in the future. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You sure do love to walk around at night, you do. That's right. Oh, it's Old Man Wes's son. Yes, we just read this. Why am I checking it again? Don't worry. Just have to mute again for just like one moment here because the overworld theme plays for just long enough to cause issue. That's right. But I don't want to just awkwardly skip ahead. So you're going to see the full thing. You're going to see that drawbridge cutscene. I'm giving you the full experience. It's a sketch of the area. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? What is that supposed to show, though? For now? Come on, Duster. You can figure out what to do. Anti ant ant ant. Anti ant ant. From nowhere in particular, you hear a voice, and that voice is mine. Uh, watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm like standing right here. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. That's right. I've been watching you fight for a while now, but I can't take it anymore. Can't take what anymore, buddy? What do you want me to do? Fights are all about rhythm. You know, like boom boom, boom boom, boom 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 and stuff. When you're in battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm, and victory will be yours. If you're really good, you can pull off 16 hit combos. I hereby name these sound battles. Thank you very much. Lucky for me, I've been quite decent at getting those. Oh, all right, we're about to go back into past me. Enjoy the rest of the VOD, everybody. Walk in that house, and, or wait, no, you're going to battle this. A mobile grave attacked. Fantastic. Let's do this. Duster put on a scary mask. Increased by 12. Nice. This is a fast paced song here. Well, I have no heals here, damn. Let's take him out. No, oh, I'm not hitting anything. Wall staples. Can't move. Come on. Fell over. Come on. Ah, come on. Smash.
Finally. That thing took forever to kill. You won! 60 XP. Level 10. Speed increased by all that. Oh, well, this sounds promising. If I would have been able to heal here, I would have been so pissed I went all the way back, but... Oh, there's a save frog, though. Probably should do this after. Beef jerky. Peculiar cheese. Hang on, is there something behind this? Ah, there is! This must be the secret passage. Detached leech. Hang on a second. Didn't the uh, dude walk the other way, though? Let me see how close I am to another level. 78. Okay. What the hell is this thing? Spineless lobster? Look how goofy this thing is. Just her attack with blinding speed. Oh, nice. Free hit. Didn't work. Come on, staple it. No, it's gotta be stapled. Ah, oh, three turns the staples didn't work. Trying offense up, of course it is. This is how I die now. Got a running bomb. I got some of those now. Great, that thing's over there. Wait, wrong menu, damn it. Peculiar cheese. Uh Duster, hopefully. Duster loves cheese. Okay, maxed out. Get him. Boat. He's booped now. Okay, good. Finally, another level. There's some beef jerky. Little leech friends. Fighting attack. Attach leech. Okay, good, he's down. You need to hold still. Okay, he's pooped. I'm gonna die. I don't have a bunch of healing items like Duster, not, not Duster, uh, Flint did. Inside was edible mushroom. Oh, yeah, let's just grab one of those. Or wait, I, I got beef jerky. What the hell am I saying? Do that. You encountered a spineless lobster. Damn it. On. Okay, I got it. I got the beat for that one down. 216, we'll get to it. More spooky stuff over here. I want that. I did say. Hit him with that thunder bomb. I'm gonna get a drink while they explode. I said I'm gonna get a drink while it explodes. Oh, I gotta keep pressing the button for it to work, damn it. Grabbed an extra one so I could specifically just do that. Edible mushroom. Nice. Posture check, let me do that. My arms and legs feel like jelly today, so it's a, a struggle to pick myself up and sit straight. Nut bread. 
Chirp, chirp, Sparrow advice. Allow me to discuss one of the main tricks of fighting. How you and the enemy came into contact means, yes, we know this already, can give you the advantage or disadvantage in the battle that follows. The truth is, you won't always encounter the enemy head-to-head -head every time. If you manage to sneak up on the enemy from behind or the side, you'll have the upper hand when the enemy will be facing backwards when you enter battle. Conversely, if the enemy sneaks up on you from behind or from the side, you'll be facing backwards at the start of the battle, putting you at a real disadvantage. When the upper hand is yours, you'll see the things in front of you turn green before battle. Just like Earthbound, and when the enemy has the upper hand, you'll see red instead. When you're on equal terms, everything will seem bluish, for lack of better term. Anyway, to sum everything up, go forth, young man. Go, 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 and all that. There you have it. Now to end this with a sparrow-like chirp, chirp, chirp. Always necessary information, but we already knew that from Earthbound. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? He made it through that underground passage without being done in by the monsters? All them monsters. Now that's really something. Want inside the castle? Afraid that's not gonna happen. The gate's locked, and Huff won't brudge at all. Only way inside now is to climb up the walls. Well, there's a pretty good answer for that, considering I'm Duster, the thief, who can climb things. It's locked. And there's also just a bunch of little... My humble little cookie patch. I don't think cookies can grow from the ground. I wouldn't want to eat that if they did come from the ground. Can't use that. Don't worry, though. There should be a way to climb up. Looks to be locked from the inside. And you can climb up the right side there. We're just waiting for past me to get near near it. But see, the wall wasn't scalable. It said so right there. Need that very suspicious little track right there. Climb up it? Yes. Watch the amazing little cutscene. His leg doesn't work so great, but when it comes to just doing this, he can just, like, he must have some great upper body strength. Yeah, run for it, Duster. Run for it. Get in that castle. Get out of the copyright claim area. No, no, no. Auntie, ant, 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 ant. The ant has some more information. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm standing right here, you know. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Looks like you still haven't gotten the hang of battle rhythms. Actually, I have. To really grasp a rhythm, you gotta learn the enemy's beat. Wait, you didn't know you could hear the enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Well, I knew. Now, so now you know, better know, too. Don't worry, though. You can still fight just fine without doing any of this rhythm stuff, of course. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Manch? This is a game where deaf people would have a severe disadvantage when they... The eyes are watching. You get the odd feeling the woman in the portrait is staring at you. I'm not a ghost frog. Shall I save the game? Yes. Pop, pop, pop. Please be careful. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Just this random-ass castle chilling over here. I don't know what the hell's going on with this game setting, but we'll see. Decorative suit of armor. Decorative suit of armor. Ghost! Ghost! Look how spooky he is. A stinky ghost? Oh, he's stinky. We gotta get him. Come on. Coughed up a terrible odor. Oh, the ghost coughs on me. That's so gross. Now I'm nauseated. Come on. Now he's down. Hope nausea goes away. No, it does not. Rotten milk. Great. have anything that cures that, do I? Nut bread. Chug that milk when we need it. The statue is written, or sorry, statue's title is written on the plate. Heavy metal. Alright. Am I supposed to put something in those two little circles? Or do I... Aha! Jump down? Why not? Now that's just rude. Now that's just rude. You felt sick. I'm already sick. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fresh mint. Does it actually game over you if you run into it from the sides? You know that feeling where you're just kind of bland, you can't eat anything at all? When that happens, a fresh mint will freshen you up. Okay, are you not allowed to eat when you're nauseated? I guess that makes sense. Alright then. Nut bread. There we go. Now what do we have here? Up. Ghosts! They're gonna make me nauseous. Let me see if I can find equipment or fight spiders first. Dude, I don't even know what's going on. Arachnid and his cohort suddenly attacked. Hmm. Why do they have an exclamation mark at the end there? I guess we'll see. Okay. You win. 40 off these lads. Nice. 78 for next level. Battle memory. Is an equipment? Nope. Key item? A list of all monsters you've encountered so far. Oh, alright. It's a weird thing to pick up now, but okay. No problem here. Heavy looking books are lined up. They don't look very fancy. Books, covers, are binding and bindings are top-notch. There's nothing written inside. Okay, more spiders over here. Yeah, you got him. Just keep going. Arachnid became tame. Okay, Okay, nice. An extra mint is okay. I want to take him out and just get myself a nice level up. Easy. And this leads to... Yeah, I thought that one of them would get up. Some ghost armor. Oh, I remember this sprite. This is like a read. This is the same pose the armor is in Mother One made, right? I think so. Some ghost armor. Hmm. All right, good. That worked. Hmm. Okay, I don't know the beat here. I'm gonna die. Eat the beef jerky, kid. And don't get killed. Teen. Ugh. Oh, great. Well, I'm dead. No, nope, I'm dead. Oh, well, that's annoying. How far back is it gonna send me now? Get up, Duster. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, where the hell is this? I'm in a spring. But I haven't visited this location before. Am I in the castle, maybe? Oh, I- oh, I see. So it just warps you to the spring in whatever location you're in. Even if you haven't been to it yet. Fresh mint. I don't- there doesn't seem to be any money for me to use, so... <laughs> I guess I didn't lose anything by dying. This takes me over here, I see. Open the castle gate. Oh, that's what this is. on. I went upstairs before. I am so close to a level, I just need to beat up these guys. Let's do it. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. You win. Okay, good. Offense went up by two. The HP level ups, or the HP for each level up seems a lot more consistent. Damn it. I'm gonna get coughed on now. Look at the face of that ghost. He has that like, I just woke up and I'm and I'm annoyed that you're near me kind of face. Damn it. Called for help, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, there we go. Seriously? Can't get it. They're just chipping away at me because I'm too weak right now. And of course I get nauseated at the end anyway. I may as well just go back to the spring. Okay. Hmm. Do 68 for next level. Yeah, let's go chill in here for a second. How long have I been going? Damn, it's really been over three hours. And I'm not even- I haven't even, like, played as Lucas outside of that, like, very short intro part. <laughs> I assumed I'd be playing as Lucas right away. So help me if saying that makes someone spoil when I'm playing as Lucas. Alright. Alright, let's bump into this ghost. Doesn't look like the other one respawned. Sinky ghost attack. Terrible odor. Ah, oh, damn it. And he got me anyway. Now I may as well run back. A rotten eclair? Ew. Oh, the other one did respawn. Okay, damn it. I'm gonna go back and heal. Let's wait and heal again. Ugh. My hand is a little bit itchy here. Just kind of moving stuff. Hmm. All right, let's go a little bit longer. Then I'll probably wrap up for the day. I only wanted to start this today. Did not know everything was gonna... Damn it! I tried to go around you and I pop right in your face. Fine then. Damn, can't get the third. All right, good. That's what's supposed to happen. 35 XP. Well, the whole crew is coming to fight me now. Fight an attack. Smash! Arachnid became tame. I wish I could explore an old spooky castle. It seems like it'd be a fun time. At the very least, it seems like this isn't... If I need to, I really can just go level up for a bit. I just imagine when the ghost calls for help, with that face, I just imagine like he turns behind his shoulder and he's like, Hey Frank, get a load of this guy over here! <laughs> and then Frank just comes in the room being like, Oh, look at him! Look at his old mustache! And then they both start coughing on me because they're disgusting. Yuck. If a stinky ghost burps at me... Well, I don't know what I can do to him, to be honest. Or a ghost. Beef jerky. Exploring an old castle reminds me of Clock Tower. Like the PS1 uh, sequel game. That castle was so silly. Uh, Big Bro? I'm guessing this thing's just called Aniki in um, the Japanese version, then. Okay, then. Let's try using a tickle stick. Didn't work. Trembling with fear? Scare him, then. It's trying to freeze me. It didn't work. Alright, that didn't work. Let's try and hit him with staples. 
Get stapled, bro. Pin down. Get him. All right, he died pretty easily. I guess I need to, didn't need to bother with that stuff. 15? Dude, these guys are weaker. They have cookies. 108. Barrels! Let's fight him. Uh, Barrel Man blocked the way. No problem. Got him just fine. You win! 32. I'm gonna take out this pink ball of squish. Oh, really? He has an ass when you hit him from behind? <laughs> Alright then. If this got officially localized, you know that ass will be gone. I kicked him into the water, Mortal Kombat style. Enemy left a present. The beginning of this game is quite a quite a huge difference from the beginning of Mother One and Earthbound. Mother One, you're just like you're you're walking into town, you don't know what the hell you're even doing, and I guess you go to a graveyard. And then Mother Two slash Earthbound, you're just like well, you're a kid. There's a meteorite and like stuff occurs, all right. And this game is like lots of stuff is occurring. Ah, damn it. Sixty-seven. I imagine th a lot of things would change, considering this came out eleven years after uh, the second game. Uh, oh, I'm I'm full on things now. How many years was it between Mother One and Two? I get rid of the regular nut. I'm actually full on stuff, which is cool. Not recommended for the living. Oh, I guess I can use it on the the ghost then. Use the rotten milk up. Nut cookie. Hmm. You know what? Just use it. It was like five or six years. Okay. Look! Pink guys! Get them. They look so tired and done with life. Game says it, it it doesn't make me sick, so I'll drink the rotten milk. I got more cookies. It's kind of... It, I feel like these guys should have been the first enemies I encounter, because they're weaker than the spiders and the ghosts. Uh, they're weaker than the leeches and the, the lobsters in that one cave, too. He's sad because he doesn't got no cake. Alright, everything went up by one. That's a pretty eh level. What are these? An odd dance is depicted here. Okay. Oh boy, I kicked that butt. You win. More nut cookies acquired. The sound of blowing wind can be faintly heard behind this wall. Hang on, there's another one right there. Yeah, I see you, bro. You going down. Hang on, I'll hydrate. You do this here. Ah, uh, no. Now this is full up here. I guess I gotta check the other locations now. 389 for next level. Let's go have a look in here. Ah, damn it. I'm not getting out of there without a fight. Ah, damn it. Almost got him. Stinky Ghost has been killed. Shoot webbing from its rear, or else would it shoot it from? <clears throat> it's 
Spider-Man would have been a very different character if he could also only shoot webs from his rear. Luckily, he figured that one out. You win. The spiders, like, die in two hits, too, and they give much more experience than the other, uh, other ones. Yeah, just throw it away. You know what, I'll fight the spider, then. I may as well press forward. There's no reason to not, um, fresh mint again. Nah, I'm fine. I should really try and use the eclairs, though, in the next ghost I fight. Wait, there's nothing else here? Uh-oh. Wait, what's that in front of the door there? Come on. Come on. You won, and everything is good. There's Rotten Eclair. Can't carry more stuff. No. I didn't use the Eclair again, anyway. What is this? Through this door is the Ghost Bazaar. We trade items for Rotten Eclair. Oh, I see. This is the Rope Snake. He's incredibly popular these days. Trade him for one Rotten Eclair. What do you say? Sure. Thanks a bunch. But even if they seem expensive, it's, start it's smart to buy as many as you can. Looks like we both profited. Treasure for the rest of your life. That's some beef jerky. Sorry to hear that. Things like this last a lifetime. That's a fresh mint. Okay, that's what these are for then. That's the case. I'll just take a beef jerky for the road. Oh, I thought I had enough. Damn it. I guess I don't use the Rotten Eclair as an item against them, I just trade it for that one room. I gotta go back to the armor hallway, that seems to be the way to go. Seems like they just wanted me to grind for a little bit. Now I can get the- now I can get the beef jerky. Now let me take a look at that. Is this equipment? Rope Snake is what Lucas uses as his grab and smash, isn't it? The key item? I see, I need to use it for something here. Wait a second. That tile is loose. Hmm, what to choose, what to choose, can't decide. I thought he was gonna battle me. Okay, how close am I to a level now, 244? I'll go heal at the spring, and then I'll try and make a beeline past the, the armor room. Why not? Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh. The Whip and Spirit Tracks was a rope snake as well, yeah. Please be careful out there. You never know what could happen, chat. No problem. Got spiders. Sure, let's fight all of them. Or just two of them. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, nice. I can one-shot them now, anyway. More XP for me. I don't think using a real snake as a rope would work very well, no. You would just rip the damn thing apart. You know, the logic being that rope is designed to hold things together. A snake is, uh, not designed to be used like that. This is a living creature. What about in here first? Oh, a mouse? Squeak, squeak, squeak. All the fireplaces in the castle are connected to via squeak rit passageway. Use them to go straight to the hot spring. Well, damn, I wish I checked here earlier. There's a hole in the fireplace. Fall down. Oh, I see. You can only fall down them, though. Grandfather clock. Ah! Wait a second. That's the painting for Moonside, isn't it? Artsy ghost attacked.
Artsy Ghost spoke passionately about art. Duster had difficulty understanding. Here we go. You won! 46 XP. What's this? A chick bandana. Well, that's a nice increase to defense. I'll take that. Run for it, lads. I don't need to fight them. Give that yellow, uh, fellow's piano song a listen. It's great. It's moving. It's tear-jerking. It's hinting. Even if you forget the small moles on my back and inner thigh, I'll never forget you. In my lonely room, your wig weeps. Baby, believe me when I say don't attach anything to the walls of this room. Like moles or wigs or wall staples. Ooh. No wall staples. <sighs> what a touching, touching song. Look at them all. They're all just chilling here. Dude, he's drinking that and it's falling on the floor. That's cute. Wine is the water of life. In this castle, I'm the ghost who knows the most. You! You're an ordinary person, aren't you? Yeah. No, you're not normal. You appear to be a thief person. No. Yeah, right. You are such an ordinary person. We ghosts enjoy having food pass through our spirits at mealtime. It looks like he's taking an eternal poop. Look at him! He eats, and, br and a, just a brown pile falls beneath him. Eternal poop. Do you want something to eat too? Yeah? Whoa, you can't hold any more stuff. You want to eat something that badly, go throw away something. Alright then. Do that. Here you go. Got a rotten eclair. Did you get more? Do you still want more? Yeah. Didn't your mother ever teach you to say no sometimes? Oh. You having a, having a bad day, son? This wall seems scalable. Climb up it? Not yet. The ghosts here party every single day. I can't fit in with that. It's not my thing. Well, good luck with that. What about here? Hey, hang on. Squeak, squeak. Many of the ghosts here are pretty friendly, huh? That's not something you'd normally expect. Nothing you can do here, nor is there anything that can be done. All right. What about down here? Where's this go? Oh, a kitchen. And moles. Alright then. A violent roach blocked the way. Let's get him. A roach would not survive more than one hit. Nut bread. Should make sure I eat stuff. There. Make room for the things we probably need to get. Have you ever seen hissing roaches? Is that really a thing? If a roach hissed at me, I'd probably cry. I'm a little baby chat. Have you seen my freaking anime, anime uh, PNG tuber? <laughs> I would just cry in the corner holding my teddy if a bug was large enough that could hiss at me. Oh, the jar attacks? The strawberry slime? No! This is what Teddy spills on the floor when there's blood in, in the horror games. No PNG tuber today? Oh, well, yeah. I didn't use it for Mother 1 and 2, so I didn't want to use it for this one. I don't need to use it for every stream. Yeah, I'm right. I'm going to use it a lot, though. Well, I'm going to have to eat something right quick. Let's do this. I was actually going to play an RPG Maker horror game tomorrow, but I don't know if I, I want to use it for that. What, what do you guys think? I'm going to use it for a recharged yellow all the way sh all the way through on Thursday, though. Still going. hits. There we go, it's dead. 
146. Enemy left a present. Sprinting bomb. This present is blue. Gift boxes with blue ribbons have great things in them. Maps. It'd be useful to remember that. Alright. Got the OSHA sketch. Oh, that's neat. Different style than the other ones. Hmm. Ooh, Chef Ghost. Even if you forget the small poles on my vacuum dinner pie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like coals or pigs or tall maples? Boo, boo, boo. No tall maples. I still haven't learned the lyrics 100% yet, but it's a nice song. No problem here. Bitter, glum, sour, unsavory. These are the only kinds of seasonings here. Sour, sour stuff there. Ew. Climb up. Watch him go. Hang on, I'm just fixing my thing over here. Ooh. There we go. It was itchy. Oh, this is what I need the rope snake for. Looks like this is a job for me. Hook me right to that candlestick. Go ahead, don't worry about me. Hang on, but what about this first? There's a ghost there. Hey, that's a rotten eclair you have there. Please trade it for me for this beef jerky. Ooh, a discount. Find more rotten eclairs. Just bring me them any uh, them here anytime. I look forward to having some more. Does this go to that? Yeah, it does. Aquarius bracelet. I can see it. Open it. You. Oh. Whatever. I can just use a mint. Let's go to equipment. Take that plus two defense. Nothing you can do here. Don't think you can. Yeah! Let us go. There's a bump on the carpet. Carpet monster! Probably should have healed before I came in here, but it's okay. get healed. You know what we do when the carpet's acting up, chat? We staple that thing. Yeah! Come on. Come on. I fell over. Can't move. Can't move. Yank the carpet. Duster got up. Pin him down. Offense increased by 10. Yay. Okay, perfect. 67. Some beef jerky. Nice. Hang on. How much do I need for a level? 345. Gonna be a while. I know you're rather strong, but the suit of armor inside here is definitely no pushover either. I'm talking incredibly strong here. If you think you're up to the challenge, I'll move out of the way. Regular old items, mystical thief tools, use whatever you can to cling clang boom bang that guy into submission. Alright then. But hang on, what's over here? Hey, who are you? Save frog. Hop, save your game. Please be careful out there. Give my regards. Hang on, before I go do that, though. Open the present. Durable shoes. Excellent. Let me see. Head, body... Durable shoes. Okay, six offense. Nice. Oh, they're all gonna attack me at once. Ghost shield and its cohort suddenly attacked. Look at that smug face on the ghost shield. Hmm. Smug. 
Stab with a sword. Oh, I'm going to get murdered here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fight them. No sword is grinning. Charged. Come on. Okay, one's down. Maybe I can take out the other one then. It's jerky time. No shield is charging me. It's charging. Didn't work. Yeah. Scary mask. Didn't work. Tickle stick. Okay, decrease his defense a little bit. Okay, a little bit of damage. Okay, getting it twice. Alright, I took these duo out. 85 XP. Damn it. Some ghost armor suddenly attacked. Oh, this one's... It's a normal enemy, then. Okay. Me, oh, jeez. I thought... I thought my freaking stream disconnected. It was just a stupid, stupid update to something. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's try wall staples. Didn't work. Okay, then. Tickle stick. Didn't work. It's a hurting me. It might be better to just take the L and come back. At full health with this. I kind of forgot about the thunder bombs. Probably should have used that against the other two things, but. I don't have that many healing items left, so yeah. May as well see what I can hit him with here. Hypno? Okay, that works on him. I know I can put it to sleep this time, that's fine. Try again. Wake up. I barely had any healing items and I already used up my jerky, so... Oh, it put me here? Bro, it put me right outside the room, that's busted. <laughs> wait, all three of... Wait, 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 what? Huh? You're telling me I fought them separately by complete accident? <laughs> well then, this should be easy. Take him out. He got booped, he got beamed. Apparently some people didn't even know you could fight them separately. Apparently you can just creep up and do this too. Yay. Hit him with the tickle stick. He's charging. Okay. Get teeheed. How close am I to a level? 175, that's not too off. I'll do this and just... I'm out of heals now, but YOLO, let's do it. Hang on a second, what does the running bomb actually do? Deals damage to all enemies. Okay, so th they're the same thing, basically. So I don't want to use it on a single target. A 
Let's take him out. Okay. All right, here we go. He tried to look cool. This seems to be his weakness. So I guess I could just do this to armors. Easy peasy. I could have had him last time, too, if he didn't attack me. Ooh. No problem here. So do I not get anything by uh, taking everything out here? Does it only work if I kill them when they're all together, maybe? Hmm. Thanks for getting this up there, Yoshi. Appreciate it. No problem. It looks like that's that. To be honest, we all hated that ghost knight. He was a real hard-headed jerk. So much that I'd like to thank you for beating him. Thanks. If that word of appreciation expressed my gratitude. Oh, I don't get a cool reward? Well, that's lame. Well, happy birthday to you, friend. Let's save at the save frog now. Jeez, I should probably find... I hope I'm, I'll be close to a stopping point. It should be. This could be the end of the castle. Let's find out. Picked up a pendant. Oh, they're attacking me. Rocking ghost. Stab me with a spear. Come on. Trying to feel the rhythm, and I got it. 68. There's some beef jerky. Now we're talking. I guess I could just use that literally right now, to be honest. Hello, Mr. Rocking Horse, if that is your real name. Nine hits. Oh, damn, it got a... Of course it got a frickin' smash against me. Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. At least I leveled up. You really use that extra HP, clearly. Oh, no. Tell me the armor's not gonna... What? A Sudor? Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna die again, but... At least it doesn't put me far back, so this isn't a big deal. Another crit dam. And it coughed on me. Yeah, smash that door. Get out of here, bro. No problem here. Ah, damn it. Well, we're just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna get killed here and sent back to the save frog, but it's okay. Everything I take out is just extra freaking XP. I hate when doors attack me. Why do they do that? So rude. Okay, 4.15 for next level. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, hang on. Can I can I sleep here? Furniture is shaking, shaking violently. I am Mr. Passion. The music I am playing is Family Matters Second Movement. Listen thoroughly. Okay. Listen and marvel to your heart's content. Ow. No. This is what artistics, artistic know-nothings like you get. Yeah, it's a boss fight. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on.
Remember, chat, if it's in the public domain, that means any random-ass company, company can just proclaim it's theirs and every YouTube video gets hit. So, yeah, I have to mute it. All right, let's do it. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> this has been a thing for, like, more than a decade. All right. All right, here we go. He's gonna kill me, but that's okay. We're gonna go right back. All right, turn it back on. I'll just have to mute when we get back in there. Try again. That's right, the sound of crickets get claimed because uh, some guy decided he invented that track and YouTube does not care enough to do anything about it. All right, let's run past these. All right, we'll have to fight these guys. Okay, nine hits. There we go. Perfect. One thirty six. Alright. Don't know if I want to grind a whole other level. I should be fine with what I got right now. Seems like the pendulum worked fine on him. Okay, let's just take out the barrel man. Of course he gets a crit. Just gotta give me a crit before we go right to the next battle. Yep, red. Oh, hang on. I can just eat that before we start. Hang on. That's a little overkill. Maybe I don't need to use it. All right, let's get him. And hang on. Gonna mute it. I can't believe I have to freaking mute Beethoven and Mother 3 because of copyright. That's so stupid. I'm angry, Gwarg. All right, let's get him. Gwarg. All right, Mr. Passion. Thief Tools. First, let's lower his attack power, because he hits like a goddamn truck. Okay, he hit me with a crit anyway. Can I do it again? Okay, good, I can do it twice. It seems like the second one was a lot less ineffective, though. So let me try using the tickle stick twice. It didn't work that time, damn. Him with one more time. Didn't work. Damn. Lost in his music. Let's hit him with a scary mask one more time. Oh, nice. Damn. He can't seem to recover this at all. Damn. This is really good. I thought it would only, like, work once. Do it again. Alright, I think I may have hit the limit of it. All right, now I can just wail on him, I'd say. He threw a mouse at me? I can't seem to get the rhythm, rhythm here at all. There, I got one. Okay, he increased his offense back a little bit. He sent everything but the kitchen sink flying? Yeah! Alright, I got to a really easy part of the song. You can't hear it, though. Is it even possible without using the scary mask? Alright, I did it. I did it. I did it. Passion disappeared. Okay, we can bring the music back. SoundCloud rappers are not taking Mother 3 away from me. Duster earned 340 experience points. Oh, the mouse was flying around too. Squeak, you, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. By the way, you can rest on the sofa if you want. You felt something warm inside your heart. Is that a stat increase? Apparently not. 
I tried using the smoke bomb. It didn't hit him. Mouse friend save. I don't like mice, though. And what do we got here? There's a very delicately crafted vase here. Did we find the thing? If someone threw a mouse at me, you better believe I'm throwing punches back. You got the noble spittoon. Spittoon? Like those little things that cowboys spit into? The sound of blowing wind can be faintly heard behind the wall. Is this the item I'm looking for? Must be. Uh, mysterious spittoon from the Osohi Castle. I guess I go. Hop, hop, save your game. Hippity hoppity. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Well, I guess we're finally done in this place. What a nightmare. Oh, what's happening? It's daytime. Just for the sake of speeding things up, I'm just gonna jump cut back to Duster's house so we don't have to sit in the, the empty copyright zone for a bit. Oh, that was faster than I expected. Okay, let's have a look-see. What is this? This luster, this texture, this delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary noble spittoon passed down from generation to generation in Osohi. You found it! My judgment was correct after all. Duster, you're exceptionally stupider than I thought. You moron! You moron! You moron! You call yourself a thief, and you can't even tell what it is you need to steal? Anything else, moron? Did you bring back any other big jackpot items? Are you sure you're not just fooling around to try and entertain me? You moron. Let me have a closer look at that. This... It, it isn't what I was looking for, but could it be? Oh, is the real treasure the mouse we helped along the way? Oh, it's the pendant. Duster. That pendant, I think its owner might be the princess of Osohi Castle. Duster. Your first job was an utter failure, but this is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading to Osohi Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room the spittoon was in. Gotta go all the way back there? Really? Alright then. Let's do it. His son got a bad leg, he sends him in to do some thieving and bam. Huh? What's that odd sound? Oh, you know, it's just a bunch of tanks going to attack the castle. Kings. Bum, bum, bum. Well then, seems like stuff is heating up here. Just charging right through the graveyard, why don't they? Ow! I sure wound up in a bit of trouble, did I? I did. Some pig-looking guys just bust right into the castle. If you're going inside, be careful. Strange vehicle is sitting here. Uh, is it armed? No one's manning it. Uh-oh. 
bum 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 bum. Oh, battle time. A clay man suddenly attacked. Watch out, he's got 2k defense. Well then, tickle him. Nice. Now he's down to, uh, 1996. We can do it now. He threw a punch. Okay, we're gonna have to stop that. Didn't work. Wes is carrying here. So let's guard. Didn't work on the clay man. Fun. Eleven hits. In a bum rush. Better eat some nut bread. He's being absent minded. Eat the nut bread. Come on, it's not enough damage to him. Need to eat these so I don't die. Oh, he threw a thunder bomb. He's gotta be almost dead. What? No! Okay. He fell over. Wes tried a secret thief art technique. Playman is struggling to get up. Come on. Playman got up. Oh, there we go. Clayman stopped moving. That only took all my healing items. Skipping on its own there. Uh-oh, stop that. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. I kicked it. Should have tried the mask more. I feel like it was hitting me too hard. I don't know the accuracy of it. Okay. Um, I feel like I should save now and call it a stream. Um. Let me see here. Make a quick save. Like. Yeah. Uh, if I walk ahead, I feel like I'm going to have to fight a boss or something. This is a good stopping point. Okay, because I wasn't sure if I was going to walk ahead and it'd be like five seconds of cutscene until the end of chapter, but I think this seems like a good stopping point because it seems like there's a lot more to do now that these pig guys showed up. Alrighty, chat. This was the first stream of this, yes, and I was recording for over four hours. Holy moly. I wasn't expecting to go that long. So this has been fun so far. I've mostly just been absorbed into the story and what's going on here. Whole lot's happening. Um, the, the second chapter is quite a bit of a shift from the first one so far. I guess everything's going to tie together. I've played for four hours and I haven't even really gotten Lucas. I guess we'll see. Anyways, that is okay, chat. I wasn't sure to ex what to expect going into this. I hope you enjoyed it so far, everybody. I know some of you are a little eager to help, but no worries. Let's not, let's not get carried away with backseating. Anyways, though, I'm going to do more of this on Saturday. Probably another three to four hours of it. This will be a nice big first episode of it, for sure. But if you're watching on YouTube, this is where it's going to stop. Look forward to more. Have a good night, and bye-bye.